Hi, this is Greg Lamberson, author of The Jake Hellman Files and The Julian Years, also filmmaker of Slime City and Killer Rack, and I want my Tomb TV. What was that? What was that? Hey, what's wrong with this picture? Nice night for a walk, eh? Nice night for a walk. Hey, I think this guy's a couple cans short of a six-pack. I've got a full six-pack right here. Mix and match, and you can't have any. Fuck you, asshole. Everybody, welcome to Tomb TV. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Tomb Dragomir, sitting in my chair at YouTube slash Tomb Dragomir. But I've been sitting on this footage for a little while. <clears throat> that feels good. In honor of James Cameron's The Terminator 30th anniversary this month, a very special episode, this time out on Tomb TV. I'm just going to throw to myself now. Hey, other Tomb, who are we talking to today? Michael Bean, legendary actor, director, star of Aliens, The Terminator. Michael, thanks for joining me today. It's a pleasure. All right. So you've done you've done a lot of work with James Cameron. He's kind of notoriously known as, I'll say, a tough director, maybe a hard director to work with. I don't find him difficult to work with. I directed a movie myself. Yeah, tell me about that. You could take James Cameron and uh, William Friedkin and Michael Bay and Val Kilmer and wrap them all together on their worst day will probably not be as difficult to work with as I was oh, when no. I was oh no I only had 12 days to shoot it so I was running around screaming at everybody I don't even know how I got involved in this situation it was a bit of a clusterfuck it wasn't a clusterfuck it was just uh, me being intense if you got a hundred thousand dollars and you know six weeks to build a house you're going to get a certain kind of house yeah. if you got ten thousand dollars and three days to build it it's yeah. going to be another kind of house you know totally. and that's what i had so um i wanted it to be a nice little house and it turned out real good yeah. is it touching the face of god i've started a produ uh, my wife actually started the production company it's uh block bean productions and we got a movie in the can now called hidden in the woods which is a remake of a Chilean movie that I saw that I thought was a really brilliant and really directed movie, but it was, you know, subtitled. And it's like, I don't even like watching subtitled movies, you know? So I thought it was so good that it should be remade uh, in English. It's a harsh movie, though. It's a, it's a little requiem for a dreamish. Oh, you know? really? Okay, well, now you've got me really... A, a little bit like The Divide. Yeah. You know, kind of that tough kind of... The, the kind you might have to maybe take a shower after watching. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. Your daughters, they're looking more lovely every day. I want you to turn off your fucking chainsaw. And I want you to get off my property. Far Cry Blood Dragon. You did yeah. some voice work for that? Dean came to me. He was the creator of the game. Part man, part machine. All cyber commando. It was fun, and it's fun working with people like him, like Jim Cameron, like Billy Freakin, like Michael Bay, like Val Kilmer, who really fucking care about what they're doing and really put their heart and soul into it and uh, um, are passionate. Michael Bean is Sergeant Rex Power Cult in this year's most thrilling, action-packed cyber adventure. I want my tomb TV. Cool. Yeah. All yeah. right, Michael. All right. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, my pleasure. Appreciate it. All right. Pleasure to meet you. This is Tal Zimmerman from Why Horror, and I want my tomb TV. He's just gonna take it like that. <laughs> Good. Moving right along, yeah, peoples, I gotta tell you, I recently went down to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, to a gorgeous cemetery called Laurel Hill Cemetery, maybe you've heard of it, 
to see one of my favorite bands. Growing up, it was always the Ramones, Forgotten Rebels, the Dead Milkmen. Well, maybe not necessarily in that order, but pretty close. So for me, seeing the Dead Milkmen live, they're back, they've rebanded, they've got a new album out, it's called Pretty Music for Pretty People, and it's fan-freaking-tastic. So without further ado, everybody, it's the Dead Milkman live at Laurel Hill Cemetery in Philadelphia, right here on Doom TV. Here's a little taste of what it was like inside my head, inside that cemetery. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Jack Talcum, Dan Drew, and Dean Clean, who I don't think stopped smiling that entire show, and neither did I. <laughs> so thanks to the Dead Milk, and thanks to Michael Bean, and thanks to you for tuning in to Tomb TV. I've been your host, Tomb Dragomir. You can find me online pretty much anywhere at Tomb Dragomir. And stay tuned to YouTube slash Tomb Dragomir for more Dead Milkman footage coming soon. Until then, my friends... Adios. Damn right. Who is fucking free?
Listen, there is no fucking ice cream in your fucking future.